Welcome to November 16th edition of PAR Tuesday News Review. Your timely source of news that is important to IDA providers in our community. You may notice that I'm observing No Shave November. The goal of No Shave November is to grow awareness by embracing our hair, which many cancer patients lose, and letting it grow wild and free. The concept includes donating the money you typically spend on shaving and grooming to educate about cancer prevention, save lives, and aid those fighting the battle against cancer. PAR has an inquiry into HRSA about the timing and availability of Phase 4 of the Provider Relief Funds for those who submitted their application materials by November 3rd. We will pass along any new information to you. There's $25.5 billion to be distributed. As you know, the Pennsylvania Legislature agreed with the administration deciding how to spend the funds generated by the 10% HCBS-specific FMAP bump. Pursuant to the Commonwealth's CMS-approved spending plan for these funds, we have heard that DHS ODP is making progress revising the ODP-administered waiver rates. Although the timing is not certain, it is estimated that these revisions to the ODP-administered waiver rates may be effective around the beginning of next year. We expect that, pro that the proposed new rates will be published for a 30-day comment period over the next few weeks. IDA providers should receive an attestation form soon from ODP to submit for the one-time COVID relief funding. Stay tuned to PAR Mail and PAR TNR for information as it comes available on revisions to the waiver rates, the one-time funding relief, and PRF funding, the fourth distribution. PAR continues to advocate with the Pennsylvania de Congressional Delegation in support of the inclusion of the Better Care, Better Jobs Act and the Better Build Back Better Bill at the maximum time period and funding level possible. Several members were asked to contact members of the Congressional Delegation as soon as possible. It's our understanding that the Better Care, Better Jobs Act policies are in the bill as well as $150 billion for HCBS. Some are saying that Congress will vote on the Build Back Better bill as soon as the Congressional Budget Office scores the bill, while other thinks, others think it will take longer for the Democrats to negotiate a solution in the House and the Senate. Please go to www.par.net forward slash action hyphen center to contact your House and Senate members to support your PAR, PAR's advocacy efforts. Remember also to follow PAR on Facebook and Twitter to check out, like, and share our posts. Be sure to tag Governor Wolf and your state legislators to help spread our message. I hope you enjoyed spending some time with myself and my granddaughters. Thanks for tuning in to PAR TNR. Stay safe, everyone, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.